good morning, everybody. We're continuing in the Gospel of Luke with our readings, our daily readings. And today we're at the end of Luke chapter 7. And we have kind of a dramatic scene that Luke paints for us. It turns out that Jesus had been invited to dinner by this unnamed Pharisee. Uh, the Pharisee probably, we're guessing, uh, had heard about Jesus, that he was this new rabbi and he'd been gaining quite a gathering. And maybe he just wanted to find out where he was uh, with his politics or or with his theology. Uh, it tur- it's kind of like what we do sometimes. We ask people out to coffee or come on over for dinner and because we know that you can learn an awful lot about people by by breaking bread together and, and talking together. So let's pick up the story in chapter 7, verse 37. It says, When a certain immoral woman from that city heard that he was eating there, that is Jesus, uh, she brought a beautiful alabaster jar filled with expensive perfume. Then she knelt behind him at his feet, weeping. His tears fell on her on his feet, and she wiped them off with her hair. Then she kept kissing his feet and putting perfume on them. When the Pharisee who had invited him saw this, he said to himself, If this man were a prophet, he would know what kind of woman is touching him. She is a sinner. Now, as I mentioned before, if the host was trying to answer, ask questions and have them answered about who Jesus was and what he, what he believed, uh, maybe a couple of the questions were, wow, is, is this a, uh, an obedient Jewish man, uh, obedient in terms, of, obedient to the law in, in the way I, a Pharisee, believe? Uh, or is this guy the Messiah, like, like maybe some have claimed him to be? And uh, it's very evident from his response that his answers to both of those questions would have been no and no. Um, he is not, the Jesus is not following the, the correct laws of cleanliness and the laws about who can touch who. Uh, no respectable Messiah. Uh, would have ever been in contact with a woman like this. Uh, she is an unwelcome person, and 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 she is uh, unclean by every standard. In this Pharisee's mind, uh, if if Jesus were the Messiah, he would have had a much more royal uh, appearance, royal in such a way that he would be the king, and he by his uncompromising adherence to the Jewish law, the pharisaical Jewish law, he would set himself up above everybody else, especially somebody like her. So this Pharisee has already written off this woman, and he's written off Jesus. He's a real excluder. The ironic part about it is is that Jesus turns out to be a a real includer. In uh, all of Luke, uh, so far what we've been reading, all the people that were thought to be the the unclean or the outcasts, uh, uh, all those that were excluded by by those in the uh, by the religious leaders, Jesus chooses to spend time with them and to even care for them and offer them mercy. Uh, we think about a leper and a paralyzed man and the demon possessed and a, a tax collector and poor people and, and a Roman officer and, and another uh, person who, who wasn't a Jew, who, who was a Gentile, and, and in fact, women in general, uh, because of their exclusion and separation. And now this sinful woman. Jesus' message is very clear. It was clear to them, and now it's clear to us. I hope that no matter what we've done, no matter what others think of us, no matter what our family of origin looks like, no matter what our economic status is, there is a place for you and me and for all of us in Jesus' family. Jesus even loved the Pharisees, but he was not very happy with the way this Pharisee was excluding and and, and uh, 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 interpreting the law in the way he did. So he saw this to be a very teachable moment. And so he wanted to even the playing field to make sure that this guy knew and that all of us know that we're all sinners. We're all broken. We're all in need of God's love. So he tells a parable. It's a parable about 
two guys who have taken a loan from uh, an another person and one for 500 pieces of silver and one for 50 pieces of silver. But it turns out that neither of them can repay their loan. And so the banker, the, the man who loaned them the money, uh, turns out that he forgave them both their loans. Now, uh, no doubt, as this Pharisee, the, the host, was, was hearing Jesus tell this story, uh, he probably put himself in this parable and saying, well, I'm not, I'm certainly not the one who, who owed the 500, maybe the 50, and, and uh, I'm the lower debt guy. So Jesus is trying to include him in, in, the, in understanding this parable. And he says, so I want your opinion. Who do you think is most grateful? Who do you think is most grateful for being forgiven their debt? And the host kind of, it says he kind of answers in a begrudging sort of way. Well, I suppose the one with the larger debt, even though he would have been one who had uh, uh, connected with the, 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 thought himself to be the one of, with the smaller debt. Jesus is very pointed with this man. It's all about our attitude of thanksgiving, that how much God has done for all of us, that, that this woman who came in and washed Jesus' feet knew she was sinful. She knew she was sinful and, and she knew she needed Jesus. She sought him out. And so she brings what she has, as humble as they are, and offers them to Jesus. And Jesus invites all of us to do the same, uh, to do the same thing, to admit our brokenness and offer our lives. Jesus' word to her at the end is, is one of those incredible, encouraging uh, uh, offers to all of us. He says, now I want you to go in peace. Your faith has saved you. And even live in the assurance of that you are forgiven, that you're loved, that you're accepted, and know that there is no greater news than that. I pray you have a great day as you walk in that great news. If these devotional videos are helpful to you, subscribe to our channel and click the notification button so you know when we post a new video. And of course, please share them with others.